Adventurers, welcome to the first War of Imperium here in Ragnarok Online GGH. We are your casters. My name is James. My name is MG. And, and yes, to celebrate the grand opening yes. of War of Imperium here in ROGGH, of course, we have an event. Yes, definitely. Regarding for the event, James, we're uh, since that it's going to be uh, the grand opening of the War of Imperium. So mm -hmm. for this one, uh, for the first four sessions of WOE, participants are able to earn rewards based on the total amount of points they can accumulate after four sessions. To earn points, a guild must be able to hold the castle after the end of every session. And uh, each castle is worth one point. And regarding for the rewards, they have actually uh, like four reward tiers. Tier A is for 10 points, tier B is for 7 points, tier C is 4 points, and tier D for 2 points. Only the yes. highest eligible tier reward will be awarded to the guild. Yes, and to qualify for the tier A or tier B rewards, mm -hmm. a guild must hold at least one castle at the end of every session. To know more about to more know more mm -hmm. information about the event, <laughs> you can visit our website ro.gnjoy.asia or join the ROGGH community Discord. Yes. Links can be found in the description of the stream, so make sure to yep. check it out. So right now, Michael, we can see that a lot of people are here outside the castle in Payon. Yes. So I think we're all hyped up to um we're all anticipating on what's going to happen here in this first ever War of Imperium in ROGJ. Yes, actually, James, I'm very excited about uh, how the meta is going to work now regarding for uh, how the Warlocks is going to do their job. At the same time, are we going to see um, a turtle defense or are they going to be aggressive on capping? Again, like, he, uh, like we mentioned earlier, every cap of castle, they will earn a point here. So mm -hmm. if... I'm not sure if they're gonna go for a massive GVGs or or just gonna you know turtle and uh, get the points. So it's up mm -hmm. to them. Yes, uh, I think uh, we have a lot of people right here right now. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just only one guild, maybe two guilds or three guilds, or maybe just one sole mm -hmm. guild planning to take this castle. Of course, all the castles are fresh right now. Yeah. But first, MG, let's explain to the viewers. Maybe there's there are some people out there or mm -hmm. some viewers out there who's not familiar. What is War of Imperium? Yeah, correct. For those players who is very new in the world of Ragnarok, guys, War of Imperium is a game feature that allows guild to fight each other in order to conquer a castle for their guild to gain benefits and special advantages. There are actually yeah. four uh, castle locations. The first one is going to be Pantera, Valkyrie Realm, Payon Baldir, Geffen Britannia, and the same time for Aldebaran, Lunia Realm. Yes, and uh, for each realm, there are five castles Castles each. Yep. So right now, we are just outside uh, the Belder Payon Greenwood Lake um, realm, just outside of this castle. When the War of Imperium starts, we're going to go in with uh, yeah. these people right here. Actually, we are looking at Last Nightmare Guild. So I think it's up now. It's out. It's up. It's up now. Oh my god. So let's actually enter let's the go. castle. I'm pretty hyped up. Let's see. Okay. I think there's only one guild. Uh, we can see one full guild here just taking this castle. This is Scarlet Palace, um, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Yep. And they, they are just going to hold this entrance right now. Maybe we can take a look at the other castles as well, Michael. Uh, I think uh, Prontera might uh, have some people in there as well as um, yeah, sure. Aldebaran Luina. Let's go ahead and check one. Um, okay, let me... Uh... Mm -hmm. There you go. So right now, uh, we don't see some people in a uh, Geffen. Maybe they might be in a different location like um, Frontera. Maybe we can go to the Imperium room, yep. uh, Michael. But, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure there are people outside uh, because there are 20 open castles right now. Um, everyone is scattered up. There are rewards for um, this the for, the for the first four sessions of War of Imperium. So... I'm pretty sure the guilds are planning to take a lot of castles. Um, right now, here in Vapayon, uh, I believe this is still Scarlet. Yes. Or, yeah, maybe this is still Scarlet. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, the, just the guilds are planning to take a lot of castles here um, just for the rewards because the rewards are amazing for exactly. the event. 
Let me. We uh... Can, uh, yeah, we can actually explain the rewards of uh, the event right now. Um, but uh, first, uh, Michael, can we go to the Frontera? Or my, I mean, MG, can we go to the Frontera mm -hmm. Valkyrie realm? <laughs> Maybe we can. Uh, we can check. We can check um, some uh, people are out there. Definitely. Um, just trying to catch those. Uh, trying to break those imperiums. But you know, um, there are a lot of castles that are open. Ooh. We can see uh, one guy right here from Templar. Templar. Yeah, this is from Templar. From Templar. Yeah. Yep. Yes, he's just breaking uh, this uh, Imperium all all on his own. Yeah. Maybe maybe he can get some rewards, or maybe he can hold this until the the what do you call this session ends. Let's see. Yep. We don't and, know. And uh, like you mentioned earlier, James, uh, we're talking about like um, five castles per. Mm -hmm. uh, Per realm, right? So definitely everyone can actually uh, get something out of this. Like, um, oh, in Lunia, Aggressor, you actually managed to uh, secure uh, Lunia mm. 4. Oof. Yes, and uh, you know, uh, aside from the War of Imperium that everyone is actually anticipating right now, um, we can see a guild here. Ooh, this is in Frontera. Uh, yes, this is a. Uh, let me check the guild. This is a. Uh, Oh, this is a FAV mm -hmm. guild. Oh, they're actually uh, securing this one. Can you actually, uh, can you say the whole name of the guild? Oh, there's gonna be, um, I hope I can pronounce this correctly. This is a uh, Pratis uh, Ad Vitam. Uh, Pratis Ad Vitam. Yeah. So, okay, correct. I uh, yeah, pronounced uh, that correctly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, me, so right now, MG, uh, what, like, um, like what we can see right now for the current uh, the, for the first few minutes in War of Imperium, mm -hmm. they are planning to defend those hot castles. So uh, um, I was expecting a mm -hmm. different um, scenario right now because I'm expecting a lot of people just to take those Imperiums and maybe break a lot of Imperiums. But mm -hmm. no, I think they are just planning to hold uh, some specific spots here in uh, our first War of Imperium. Actually, this is actually uh, a wise thing to do to... Uh... Of course, our Warf Imperium duration is going to be 2 hours. You need to reserve mm -hmm. or you, you need to save up your resources here. Once you, uh, once the guild actually burns their resources, um, the other guild can actually take advantage on that and, uh, you know, just push through and take the Imperium out of the hands of that defender. So I think uh, mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty, pretty good on this one. They're just doing what they can first, trying to, uh, what do you call this? They're trying to uh, read first the movement of the other guilds. Definitely they have a uh, scout on other guilds as well or, or on the other Imperiums as well so yes. very good uh, recognition here mm -hmm. and we can see Nonsense actually taking uh, your Biglar yep in um, I believe that is in Britonia so um, you know castles are being taken left and right um, just no guilds are um, actually battling it out with um another guild right now they are each taking their own respective guild there are a lot of people outside of uh, this castle goons are outside in Hohen. Yes, yep earlier oh, we saw Wongo. yeah earlier uh, we saw um, nonsense earlier regrouping at, on uh, at the outside and uh, currently goons are regrouping I think they're gonna push and uh, I think they're gonna steal the Imperium on this one mm -hmm. so maybe like, we can check inside we can go inside of the castle and uh you know uh no one's are guarding the entrance we can see okay here uh, go. some players right here just uh trying to attack each other it's a one versus one sura <laughs> battle but i don't think they are going to battle each other right there goons are forming up outside of this castle and um maybe they will push in mm -hmm. just a bit because uh, like what we've mentioned earlier my God, there are our mg there are 20 mm -hmm. 20, 20 castles exactly. open yeah. So there are a lot, and uh, you know you need ten points for the event for um, to eight. actually yep. um, get that tier A reward, and that's going to be a hard scenario for our guilds because uh, for a session you need at least uh, you need to take at least um, three castles in a single yep. session for exactly. you to be qualified, and for the first for the next two, for the other two sessions you need at least two castles each. So you need a ten. You need to occupy ten castles at the end of every session. 
Yes. Uh, so, I mean, at the end of uh, all the sessions, exactly. at the end of four sessions. So they, that's going to be a hard thing to do, especially with the guilds right here just forming. Mm -hmm. um, goons are trying to occupy a castle right here. Yeah. Uh, we are going to um, check other castles later on, but we might see people defending this castle. So can we go inside for just a bit? Let me check now. I think mm -hmm. uh, NS was uh, capturing this earlier, but I'm not sure mm -hmm. if uh, they can uh, hold this with the numbers of uh, of goons now. Let yeah, me, uh, check inside. But uh, we can see here. I think Nance is already occupied okay. two Britonia castles. Or this is um, is that money heist? Yeah, I think that's uh, money heist. Okay, yeah, I think so they're gonna I think go they're... out. And um, are we gonna see the first clash for this uh for this matchup? Maybe they're okay. just scouting. Okay. Maybe they're just scouting. Oh, ghouls oh, are pushing in. So we're just gonna follow out. this. We're gonna follow this. Maybe we can see some action right here. Yep. And I'm pretty hyped up to see what will happen. Ooh, is that uh, that's one huge damage? I think oh an arrow storm God. actually connected and yeah. um uh eliminated a lot of people that, right there. But that's insane damage. Mm hmm. Right yeah. now, we can see it's just some people just defending right here. Um, I think they, they weren't prepared for that arrow storm to actually that, yeah. connect. Some uh, okay. gates of hell will actually pop out right there. And maybe we can uh, check other castles since um, I think Money Heist is defending this castle right yep. now. Um, we can check the Payan castles and the uh, Frontera castles. Maybe uh, I haven't seen people occupy... Oh no, actually, Kremhild Castle has been occupied by Dominari. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, so, let's go ahead and check that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, Kremhild that's in uh, Valkyrie 1. They actually just occupied it. And, uh, you know, Goons and Money Heist are going at it against each other right now. Acid bombs getting thrown. And uh, Goons are just pushing in. So maybe slowly but surely, they are going to push here in... Hohenschwang go, so have, we can follow it for just yeah. a bit. I think they have the numbers. It's a matter of uh, execution and recognition as well um, on what enemies are they facing uh, during that um, push. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have uh, several guilds here. Uh, just a game here. Dominari. Dominari. Yep, let's go ahead inside and uh, check if there's Ooh. any... Oh, okay. Ooh. Dominari is... So Dominari. Uh, yeah, Dominar is just holding this uh, entrance yep. right now. Uh, you can see some uh, wizard skills getting casted on the floor, of course, to prevent other players from entering very, very quickly. And we can see some land protector just popping out um, for the for the for the entry yes. of the other guilds. But we can we cannot see other guilds just pushing this castle right now. So maybe they are trying to occupy this first. Maybe they will take other castles mm -hmm. later on. Uh, Virgil has been occupied by nonsense. I think there are three castles occupied by nonsense yep. right now. I think all from um, all in Britannia then. Yes, um, that's actually good. And um, I'm actually expecting um, that NS and uh, nonsense can actually clash um, wins early. Uh, that they can actually clash earlier. But I think uh, Money Heist managed to wipe um, Goons earlier, so that's why uh, Ennis was there. Yeah. And uh, I think Last Nightmare occupied Holy Shadow earlier, and it has been taken by uh, Friendly Fire. Um, but uh, we can actually check that later on. We can see... Arsenal going in? Are they going to commit mm -hmm. on this one? Oh no, actually last night Lightmare is in a uh, Scarlet Tala, so uh, uh, uh but right now Dominari is just holding this uh Kremhild castle. I think the uh, Geffen for nonsense they are just going to try and occupy Geffen okay. or Britonia castles right now. Just a game is trying to push in. Mm hmm Let's uh, and, uh they are at a disadvantage in terms of numbers yeah. because we can see Dominari just holding this entrance spot right now. They're actually very established on, uh, on the defense here uh, for this uh, mm -hmm. entry point. Um, as you can see, massive uh, AOEs, SGs are casting on the floor. And um, I think they have the uh, ground control players as well who, um, who will take down those solo players uh, 
that's roaming around actually. No, and, no, uh, but I think they are alliances though. Uh, they're not eating each other, so I think they are alliances. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, Dominare and Just the Game are alliances right now. Um, maybe we can check on the other castles. Uh, yes, Nelf has been conquered by Arsenal um, right now. So maybe we can check the other castle and see what happens. Right? Oh, it's one go. A lot of people are here. So I think these are still the no, last nightmare and goons. Goons, yes. Last nightmare and goons. Uh, the castle is owned by. Is it owned? Can you can you check the flag? So I think no one owns the castle right yeah, now, no though. Yeah. No one owns the castle right now. Um, I think Money Heist is inside. So maybe they are defending this castle because this is a hot castle. Like what we mentioned earlier, War of Imperium. You can get a lot of benefits and uh, special advantages if you actually conquer a castle. Um, yeah, I think, I think MH is just causing a lot of chaos around this uh, castle. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they only have like few numbers, but in a... They're very effective um, when it comes to uh, when it comes to fights as well. So I think uh, they need the the other kills need to step up if they want to take uh, take down MH on this one or money heist. And as mm -hmm. you can see, a uh, quick LB on the uh, on the entrance now. They want to make sure that they can secure first the entrance and they can uh, push towards to uh, to the pre M. Ooh, last nightmare is just pushing right now. They're swarming. So in. they are. They are going to swarm in. You are correct right there, Michael. They are, or MG, they are going to connect yeah. to, uh, to, uh, to swarm right in. Um, and maybe try and occupy this castle. But I think um, Money Heist is just inside. Maybe yeah. they have breakers ready to actually break that Imperium. Maybe they are just um, um, hostaging this yeah. Imperium so that they can break it later on when uh, a guild pushes in. Okay. But they are just going to hold here, they, they are going to wait they for... They need to be safe on this mm -hmm. one. We saw earlier what they did on the last guild who pushed here. So they need to be safe on this. And, uh, you know, to avoid that arrow shower earlier, that actually uh, connected to uh, to multiple players. Okay, mm -hmm. no defense here coming from NMH. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. But oh, we are not sure. We haven't seen uh, the the other parts of this castle yep. yet. Maybe MH is not defending this, and uh, they are just causing mayhem inside. Yeah. Or maybe they already occupied this castle. You can see arrow storms getting um, casted left and right. They are going to hold this flag warp, I think. So there are people still there. They are just going to hold uh, this flag warp. And uh, I need to uh, make it clear, guys. Emergency call is disabled yes. in War of Imperium. No e call for today. <laughs> mm -hmm. So right now we can see Last Nightmare just pushing in. This is Last Nightmare, right? Yep. This is Last Nightmare. Yeah, they are just going to push in and uh, try and secure this Imperium. Maybe Money Heist is inside the Imperium or the Emp Room. I'm very curious I'm on, sure. uh, on how the defense of uh, Money Heist will, uh, you know, how mm -hmm. can they uh, defend this uh, push? Oh, so they are defending. So let's actually go out. All right, now we are going to follow the attack here okay. of uh, Last Nightmare. And uh, we are just waiting for them. I think in, in terms of numbers, Last Night Nightmare has the advantage right now. Mm -hmm. um, Money Heist is going to have a hard time if they actually push um, together and, uh, you know, perfectly time their skills. And maybe Execution, cast that Mandragora yes. Howling to make the fixed cast time of the other players a little bit longer and uh, prevent the other the, the the defenders from um actually you know defending the exactly. castle yep. very nicely <laughs> <laughs> okay i think they're just rebuffing now preparing now mm -hmm. um i think they need to put the uh tank players in front of the for the front push and uh i think some image are trying to go out first and trying to uh kill the back lane we're seeing some uh gc sura taking down uh, some um last nightmare players Yes, and uh, I think last nightmare held the the flag warp of uh, mm -hmm. Hoi and so maybe they are just going to hold that spot and uh, cause a little bit of mayhem right here for uh, money heist. But they are not pushing right now; they are just holding this spot, you know, making sure uh, no one else will come in. Okay. Uh, we can see their numbers are really great here, um, okay. as like what I've mentioned earlier. There is no emergency call. 
So if they get wiped out right here, they will have a hard time. Sacraments are getting casted left and right, of course. That I uh, Arden's apple, Arrow Storm, woo -hoo! Oh. That uh, that radio uh, fire risky. got risky destroyed Arrow right there. But okay, we can see uh, uh, or uh, what do you call the sorcerers actually going in. They are okay, going to push right now. Money heist. There are damage damage breaths getting it. casted left and right. Last nightmare going in. Oh, money heist in got now? wiped out right there. And the uh, last nightmare is Good just pushing push in. There. Mm -hmm. Very, very well executed there from uh, last nightmare. Wow. Yes. And uh, that was a nice push coming from last nightmare. And uh, Money Heist uh, got pummeled right there. But you can see here, once we were just defending that Imperium all by herself. And uh, as last nightmare, I think we'll be able to occupy this Imperium. Good so effort from actually... uh, last nightmare. Very, very good effort. Execution wise, they, uh, they're they very patient as well. Uh, mm -hmm. They waited uh, all of their members to uh, be buffed first at the same time for the, their tankers. Very, very well committed on their tanker side. So, yeah. very committed there. Well, uh, I think what happened right there was Man Money Heist lacked uh, a bit of members who are online right now to defend mm -hmm. the, the castle. So that's why they had a little bit of a hard time right there. Last Nightmare were just too uh, many to deal with. Exactly. But yeah. we can actually go inside the Scarlet Palace right now. Um, I think this is still occupied by oh. Last Nightmare as well. Just imagine the numbers of this, uh, of this guild. They can mm -hmm. they can actually defend at the same time they can send an offense team to take down one guild who's defending in the very Wow. Yes, uh maybe last night Nightmare has two guilds with the same name. Uh just a little bit yeah. of a difference for the name right there. They have yeah. uh, an offensive guild and a defending guild. So we can see that their numbers are really great right there. Mm -hmm. Um we also saw Dominari just uh holding Kremhild Castle at Frontera. Um, we can see a different guild right here from in Rottenburg. It's from Chow. Chow, Chow guild. Yeah, CH40. I think it's Chow. Uh, or uh, Chip 4 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we can see here the numbers of Last, last Nightmare. Uh, Money Heist might be having a hard time if they want to take that Hohenchuang Go castle. Um, Scarlet Palace. Uh, Last Nightmare is defending this perfectly. Uh, let's take a look at the Geffen Castles or Britonia Castles, MG. And uh, yeah, we can see people right here. You have Harabas. Harabas yeah. We have Harabas. We have a member of Money Heist there outside the castle. Um, no one is defending right now in the Emperor. Uh, be, but we have a warlock right there yeah, from goons. goons. So maybe they are defending the castle. A member of Money Heist and Goons right there. So no defense as of yet. Maybe they are just mm -hmm. inside though. Not really sure. But uh, we can check the other castles later on um, inside the Emp Room. And see if there are people out there. Kremhild, of course, Dominari was there. Uh, what's the guild outside? Just holding. Uh, nonsense. This is nonsense. Nonsense. Yep. Mm -hmm. Last night, where some of the last night where players are here as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so right now the dominating guild uh, in terms of numbers is Last Nightmare from what I can see. But we have a battle right here. This Arsenal. is Arsenal. Yes, Arsenal. Arsenal is going to join in on the battle. Um, Dominari is. Um, maybe just trying to hold on defend they are still defending this uh, exactly. like what i've mentioned earlier just a game is their ally um they are just going to hold arsenal they are i think they're the planning to go for a gvg battle here in the entrance but you know this is going to be at the disadvantage of the attacking guild and this is this will actually make you consume a lot of potions yep again this is one of the best part of ragnarok you need to uh manage the resources that you have or supplies that you have for the guild um, because again like we mentioned earlier the Warf Imperium is will last for two hours so you need to conserve your um, resources in order for your guild to last um, for for example for a last minute break or last minute push you, you need to have mm -hmm. the key items to be up and running for uh, big yes. pushes yes uh, as well as your equipment Speaking of equipment mm. and supplies, you know, MG. Um, 
we also have uh, other ongoing events right now here in ROGGH. Like the Let's 100 go. days event. Can you show the banner on screen right now, MG? Because, you know, it's been more than 100 days since ROGGH launched. To celebrate the 100 day anniversary and to thank you all for being a part of our ROGGH journey, ROGGH has prepared a series of events for all of you adventurers. To find out more about this event, of course, you can visit the website ro.gmjoy.asia or join the ROGGH community Discord. Yep. Alright. And uh, I think you'll get some neat um, supplies right there. You can get the um, enchantment stone box. So maybe you can enchant your costumes and get those attack speed do wings up or HP absorption wings up. I, I'm not sure what you're going to do with those uh, yeah. event coins that you can receive in I the event. I think Arsenal went out for some reason. They went out and uh, I think they're going to transfer uh, to a different castle. Mm -hmm. maybe they, can, they can try and uh, occupy a different castle right now, but we are just uh, taking a look at the hot castles that we believe are hot castles right now. But, you know, guys, if you have an, any idea what castles are hot okay. right now or oh, you, you want to shout out your favorite guild, just type it in the comments section and uh, we can actually check that out for you and uh, maybe shout it up, shout out your favorite mm -hmm. guild later on. Okay, I think uh, Nonsense is going to commit on this. Um, last Nightmare, they have a solid defense here. They have um, a massive AoE here left and right. At the same time, they're trying to block the uh, bridge here to avoid any uh, bushes coming from uh, NS. Mm -hmm. Well, Nonsense is uh, not really pushing as a group right now. Maybe they just want to go in and mm -hmm. cause a little bit of damage and try and break the Imperium if they can. But uh, you can see here the defense of Last Nightmare is really... Um, outstanding here in the entrance yeah. so uh, uh, although they are a little bit scattered they have a lot of numbers so the defense here is um, uh, on point right now uh, but uh, you know we can take a look at the other castles last uh, you can see here nonsense just try to go in and out yeah just, uh, just going in maybe getting attacked um, maybe they get they get uh, killed immediately as they yeah. go inside I think but, uh, you know, this is going to be a hard push for the guilds exactly. if they want to enter this castle. They need to enter together. I think um, the guild should recognize who's the dominating guild uh, for this session. And um, mm -hmm. I think they should focus as well on the pointing system in order for them to mm -hmm. uh, secure at least good amount of rewards. And use that rewards to uh, enhance the items that they have currently. Mm, yes. And... Uh... We can actually take a look at the other castles right now. Maybe we can uh, actually check at uh, Hohenschwango. Okay. Maybe Last Nightmare is still defending that uh, castle as well. Or maybe Money Heist pushed in uh, because there are no people outside this castle right now. That'd so be, yeah. I'm not sure. But uh, I can see some players here in... Uh, I think this is uh, what do you call this? Oh. Jeffen Castle let's Fort. Let's go! Kill on sight! KOS, let's mm -hmm. go! Ooh, they are he's just trying to push in. Yeah. All by himself. Maybe he can break this castle. <laughs> Maybe he can break this castle, you know? Yep. But uh, let's take let's actually take a look at uh, Jeffen Castle 4. Virgil. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, I think uh, people are pushing in right now in this castle, so maybe we can try and take a look at it and see. Uh, because I saw some uh, people there earlier, and uh, ooh, we oh, have money heist. Yep. And uh, can we see the Imperium? Who has it? Who owns it? No, actually, no, no, no. we cannot see. Um, yeah, but money uh, heist is there. Uh, we can go outside. Spot. Yeah, they are just going to hold this Emperor. We can go outside right now, uh, no, MG. All right, so Money Heist is just holding this castle. Um, I saw goons earlier. Uh, maybe they are not complete, or maybe they are just uh, scouting a castle right now. Um, you know, because uh, like what you mentioned earlier, MG, mm -hmm. a lot of castles out there, so they can just pick uh, pick one and uh, 
uh, you know, try and defend that castle <laughs> for themselves. Exactly. We have 20 mm-hmm. castles open right now, so meaning they can actually get maximum of 20 points if they're very uh, <clears throat> aggressive enough to, uh, you know, to uh, take mm-hmm. down other guilds. Yes, and uh, you know, we have a lot more events here in ROGGH. We also have the popcorn event still up. And you know you Ooh, can enjoy upgrade. ROGGH's very first seasonal event by completing daily quests, approaching any bonfires, hunting marbles, or by just popping some popcorn. Dude. Have fun and make your popcorn journey more delicious. Exactly. Till June 30, 2022. Yes. Of course, if you want to find out more about the event, you can visit the website or join the ROGGH community Discord. So this is um. I think this is Dominari? This is Dominari? Uh, yep, this uh, is Dominari. Uh, the, the, the Dominari just holding this castle. So, a good defense right here. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if there are people attacking yep. the castle. But I believe this is occupied by another guild earlier. Yep. Um, I don't know which James, guild though. Question. If you're the guild leader of, of one of these guilds, uh, what's your one of your what is your strategy for the first half or for the first hour uh, of this session? Well, uh, you know, it really depends on the supplies that I have. If uh, my guild has a ton of supplies, I I can just uh, test out the waters of other guilds. Maybe like take a, a look GB's? at their defense, their strategy, um, what they are doing, and maybe occupy a little bit more castles just to get my name out there. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's uh, what I'm going to do if I have I have a decent amount of supplies. But if I don't have uh, a decent amount of supplies, maybe just try and get uh, more Imperiums or more castles because exactly. I don't want to waste supplies. So maybe I'm just going to find, um, you know, uh, find a castle that has has no one defending in it, and uh, maybe occupy it. Um, just break a lot of castles mm-hmm. and for the last half. Or the last hour of mm-hmm. War of Imperi, maybe I can go for GVG. Maybe I can go defend castles. And for the maybe last few minutes, I can go and break those Imperiums yeah. and try to get more points for the event reward. It's actually a, a good, a good strategy, James. And um, mm-hmm. I think the most of the guilds here are trying to do that. They're trying to test the waters here for, um, versus other guilds. And surprisingly. Um, last nightmare is showing that they're dominating or they're go- they're gonna dominate this war of imperium with their numbers mm-hmm. and execution and i think with the items that they have right now uh, i can mm-hmm. say that uh last nightmare is doing well um for this uh war of imperium session mm-hmm. well they have like, one thing i can say is that they have a lot of numbers yep um money heist is actually defending their own castle as well as well as um, Dominari yeah. and uh, Nonsense I as think well. Goose, just, just Goose has yep. a castle as well. Nonsense has a castle as well. Um, uh, and MG, can you type slash Aura <laughs> so oh, okay. that uh, we can uh, check um, the other... There you go. Know. You can check it better, a little bit more better. But you know, um, here in War of Imperium, you know, this is just the first session. This is the grand opening of War of Imperium. We are expecting a lot of action right here. Of course, um, for the first session of War of Imperium, um, guilds are going to test each other. Yep. That's what I'm expecting right now. They are going to test each other. Of course, they don't. W- they don't want to waste a lot of supplies. Yeah. That's correct. And uh, they can get more, maybe more consumables if they participate in the popcorn event because you can get yeah. consumables right there. Exactly. So you can pop some popcorn if you want some consumables <laughs> so it's up to you guys if on how you actually um you know get your supplies mm-hmm. but uh we can try and check jeff and castle four okay maybe uh there is a battle going on right there but i'm not really sure um Maybe a guild is just defending, but because earlier I think Money Heist is defending Jeff and Castle Four. Yeah, that's Jeff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, some castles may be occupied right now, um, 
and uh, they are just going to hold a castle maybe for the time being. I think this is and uh, check it out later. Uh, right now, um, I'm trying to scout other castles as well as we can see right here. Uh, we, we can just take a look at the other castles, maybe roam around and see um, the situation of the other castles, MG. But, you know, since we are just roaming around uh, Money Heist defending uh, Jeff and Castle for Last Nightmare defending uh, Scarlet uh, Palace. And, uh, you know, I think goons are somewhere out there. Oh, Bamboo Grove Hill. So yep. they're in Pine right now. Goons are in Pine right now. Oh, Pine. Um, uh, and I think Dominar is uh, occupying a castle in Frontera. So... And they're just uh they're they're not actually battling each other right now maybe we can see them um you know battle each other at the end yeah towards the end of the the first session of a uh, war of imperium but right now they are just uh, playing passive they just want to save a little bit more supplies um they want to take a castle because like what we've said earlier michael uh mg you can get special ad advantages uh, like the guild dungeon, you can enter the guild dungeon if you actually exactly. occupy a castle. You can get treasure chests, which you can get uh, good items out of it every every night. Yep. Every two, I think this is uh, 12 a.m. server time. Uh, treasure chest spawn. So that's good. Yeah, a lot of benefits for and, a guild. And uh, I think about uh, about this, James. I think they need to uh, regroup first before they can uh, they commit 100%. Because if they're just gonna go like uh, by force or one party, I think uh, the defender can actually insta, you know, insta kill them. So if they're gonna mm -hmm. commit, they need to commit to the entire kill, and um, I think they can actually wipe this if, uh, yeah. if they manage to regroup uh, perfectly. Yeah. But there are a lot of people outside the castle. So can we check what guild? I saw a member of Dominari just waiting outside. Yes. Uh, the castle. Maybe they will enter later on. Money oh, Heist oh, is wait. here Dominari, as well. Money Heist. Oh. Dominari, Money Heist. I think the red and purple emblem of Dominari here we is go. here. Here we go. So I think they might push this castle. This is really a hot this... castle right now. Um, Let's see. Let's... Maybe they want to battle it out with Last Nightmare. We are still 30 minutes in the Warf Imperium session and we can see a lot of people just preparing to go in and maybe get that action up and uh, you know wipe last nightmare out of this entrance section okay, I think so they can uh, enter i think some of mm -hmm. uh, some of uh, some of the oh, no, are yeah. meeting now mm -hmm. maybe they're just trying to scout it out yep oh they are they are pushing in they're they are now. pushing yep. in but they didn't now. push together mm -hmm. and uh look at the spread of last nightmare right here but uh, uh, what the last nightmare on the left side no no oh last nightmare actually some members of last last oh, nightmare got wiped out dominari occupied uh, this entrance right now you can see dragon breaths and arrow storms good just push. popping Dominari's out and you can hear dominari just uh pushing in and money heist and i think the castle got occupied right now oh uh, no did it did it get occupied Okay, good push there coming from uh, Dominari. No. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's a good push coming from um, Do Dominari. <laughs> I think the spectator just got killed though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just got killed. Oops. So, uh, yeah. Um, sorry about that, but <laughs> you can see right here. You no, know, Do Dominari is yeah. just holding. They're just holding uh, this spot right here. We can see two. Um, two different emblems from Dominari, the purple one and the red one, and um, you know they are just going to hold this entrance. Maybe push in later on. A few members of Money Heist uh, just going in. Uh, I think Last Nightmare already went inside the castle. Yep. Um, and uh, yeah, they are actually. That's a good push coming from Dominari. I think uh, the first uh, few players that uh, went in is just trying to scout out, and uh, when the I think when the scout recognized that they can push in, Dominari didn't mm. think twice and immediately went in and 
push for um, an insta quick push on the left hook. Once the once the first group uh, match established, the second the uh, dominari went in and helped the right wing to uh, secure the entrance. So mm -hmm. and they are pushing. In. They are pushing in right now. And uh, I think MH know, is joining as well. I'm not sure if uh, Dominari is hitting the MH. Yeah, and uh, look at the numbers of Dominari. So uh, he can actually take down the numbers of um, last, last Nightmare because uh, you can see Purple Dominari, they are just holding the bridge to prevent mm -hmm. other players from going in. Uh, let's go in with the Red Emblem uh, let's Guild go. Yep. MG. Maybe we can see them actually push inside. Uh, you can see Rolling Cutter, Curse Circle, and that's a, that's a guilt in fist coming from that Suda from Last Nightmare. Finally, and, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a quick we didn't guilt expect fist. to see that right there. Yeah, I've been waiting but, for that uh, for uh, mm -hmm. for minutes now, hoping that someone can actually cast that. Mm -hmm. And that's a quick cast of uh, guilt in fist. Um, and right now we are just going to follow Dominari and uh, go in the castle maybe they are not pushing in right now just yet um you know the the third uh spot or the third portal here in this castle is very um it's one of the choke points mm -hmm. here in uh this castle so maybe they are just trying to defend this um and the wait maybe there are last nightmare players defending or uh players or Guild members of Last Nightmare just defending that third portal. Yep. Okay. And, uh, Again, you mentioned waiting. you mentioned earlier that there's no emergency call for this session, mm -hmm. so uh, they need to manually go to the Imperium just to defend this. And um, yes, I think um, Dominaria as well recognize that some of the players of the of um, of LS earlier got wiped, so they have the advantage now to take down the Imperium. And they have the numbers now to take down the remaining numbers of this defending uh of, of this defender of this yes. uh, um, castle yes and right now they are i think dominari is holding that uh flag warp we can mm -hmm. go down for a bit just go down for a um, a few cells and you can see here they are they are just going to hold that flag warp area because that is the flag warp area where the bed is uh here in uh this castle so they are just going to go, um, you know, um, hold that spot and maybe prevent the other players of Last Nightmare from going in to defend this castle. But they are preparing to push in. Maybe they can be successful in their push. Maybe not. Uh, we'll know later on yeah. as we see people. Oh. You can see that Mandragora howling and Last Nightmare tried to push out to wipe, oh try and wipe out Dominar oh, right there. But Dominar, they are just going to push, push in right now. Okay. And uh, you can see here Last Nightmare because some of the members they push still... out. You can see that land protector they getting casted on the ground. But okay. I think that Sorcerer got wiped out. Last Nightmare! Ooh. Good last Nightmare! Yeah. And the uh, last wow. nightmare actually just uh, defending that. That was a big surprise castle. coming from the nice Mhm. Mm Good surprise and, uh, there. You can see right there, uh, MG, mm -hmm. the the numbers game. You know because last nightmare occupied uh, that castle. Uh, you know it's easy for them to actually go in and out of this castle exactly, because, yeah. uh, like what we saw earlier. Um, you, there are members of Last Nightmare uh, getting killed right there, but that they actually went in and pushed uh, or went out and pushed out first mm -hmm. to actually uh, you know reduce the numbers. Okay. And I think uh, a good regroup here coming right. from uh, Dominari. Dominari right now is trying to uh, delay and a quick RG coming from Dominari. And um, as you can see earlier, um, Last Nightmare has uh, I think they only have like few players left inside. Yeah, I think the, um, if Dominari can perform the same push that they did earlier on the entrance, they can actually take this one really, really fast. Yes, and uh, they are preparing, preparing to go in um, this time as well. But you, we saw earlier that uh, a genetic of Last Nightmare just actually casted that Mandragoria Howling. Mm -hmm. And the goons just, uh, I mean, um, rather Dominari just uh, tried to push in quickly. Uh, but they got affected by that Mandragora Howling, so maybe that cost them, um, you know, a little bit of time because you will get a mm -hmm. fixed cast time 
um, you, you will cast longer if you mm -hmm. got hit by that Thunder Chat. Gora Howling. So we can uh, just uh, check here. Dominari is okay, preparing Dominari. to push in once again. Oh, this is now the purple Dominari. Purple Dominari now. So this. the first push. First okay, push was from the red Dominari. Moving on to mm -hmm. uh, left wing. Yes, and uh, right now, uh, Dominari is pushing in. Last Nightmare, uh, no defense here inside the Imperium out, room. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not planning to defend this and uh, just let Dominari take the castle for now. Maybe they are holding Ho and Chuang Go. Yep. Uh, because earlier, um, no, uh, no, they went and occupied Balder 1 or Bright Arbor. So last night nightmare actually occupied that castle. So um, nonsense is still occupying castles in Brutonia, uh, and uh, yeah. Good break there. Actually, well, so well hmm. at least there is a good recognition there coming from last nightmare that they have low numbers. They don't want uh the. They don't need to dwell too much on that castle that they can actually cap another mm -hmm. castle for pointing system. And um, yeah, a, a very, very good push earlier for uh, mm -hmm. from those four players, wiping an entire party, connecting all the AOEs that they can uh, throw in. And um, yeah, so I think they yeah. just uh, need to uh, be patient and uh, move to another castle. Yes, but uh, like what I've mentioned earlier, MG, this is just the start of War of Imperium. Mm -hmm. Guilds are testing the waters. They don't want to commit that much and maybe reduce their supply consumption because you don't want to consume too, uh, too many supplies on the yep. first War of Imperium because you still have um, three other three more sessions to go for um, the, the event here in RO. GGH, but right now uh, we are just entering Hohenshu and Go Castle, and uh, no one is actually defending the entrance. No one is outside. Uh, maybe a guild is defending this castle right now, but uh, we can actually check and go inside. Let's try to check the Imperium. Um, okay. Oh, aggressor is here. Mm -hmm. Oh, but uh, the the Imperium is not broken though. Yeah. So they are taking that Imperium hostage. And uh, this is a new guild. Uh, what's the uh, guild Aggressor. name again? Aggressor. Aggressor. Uh, earlier, I think they actually occupied the castle. Yep. I'm not really sure. I think NS... So NS is here as well. NS. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think they're just chilling right now. Uh, we still have like an hour plus to go. Yes. And uh, you know, people are just uh, okay. at a different castle. So right now, they're, they are going to push though. They are going to push. So they are just... Uh, I'm not sure why they are entering that uh, portal immediately. Oh, yeah. They will get wiped out though. They will yeah. get wiped out. Uh, because in order for you to actually enter that area, you really need to go at that top area. So let's go outside. Let's wait for them to push. So it's either you can go up there or enter that portal yep. so it's uh, separated and like what i've mentioned the earlier mg there is no emergency call eagle yeah they need to manually mm. regroup and um they need to sink in who's gonna go in first and uh you know yeah and, um, yeah don't go inside that portal just yet of course uh ns or nonsense they are regrouping outside of this amp room but you know in order for you to actually go in perfectly, you need to get your skills and stats right. So that's why RO GGH, to celebrate the, the release of the War of Imperium update, they gave out free reset stats and skills. Exactly. All players will be able to get unlimited, again, unlimited, <laughs> unlimited, unlimited stat yeah. and skill reset at NPC Almighty located at the northern part of Geffen. Of course, if you want to find out more about the stat reset or the free reset, you can visit the website ro.gnjoy.asia or join the ROGGH community discord. Again, links are in the description of the stream. As we can see, 
Um, they managed to destroy is... the defense of uh, aggressor now. Mm hmm. But uh, nonsense. nonsense. Did they remove their emblem? No, oh, yeah, I think they removed their emblem. Uh, I, I'm. I... I don't know how <laughs> you can do that, but uh, but uh, yeah, actually nonsense occupied that, that castle, and still we have a lot of people outside Scarlet Palace. Uh, this is really the hot castle right now. Yeah, <laughs> this um, is really the hot castle. Okay, this is Archil, a different guild uh, from earlier, but LS is here as well. Aggressor LS mm -hmm. uh, waiting outside. Uh, I think we should uh, check uh, who's defending this. Yeah, Ooh. Dominary. A different setup for Dominari. They have uh, like an L-shaped defense here. They don't have any uh, defense on the left side or left wing. I think that's going to be an open um, RG coming from the attacker here. So they need to uh, put someone here to at least distract or at least delay the RG of the incoming attacker. Mm -hmm. uh, they are scattered to to hold the, this uh, position perfectly because they have that Loki's Veil I think casted yep. on the ground of that entrance to prevent other players from or other the aggressors or the attackers yep. rather from uh, casting skills when they enter that Imperium so they, that makes it harder for the other players to occupy this Scarlet Palace but you know Dominari has a lot of numbers right now last Nightmare, last Nightmare has a lot of numbers yep. as well but they are not present right here I think they have equal numbers earlier. Uh, we saw how uh, last Nightmare dominated the uh, push earlier. And right now, Dominari is showing that they can match the numbers of uh, last Nightmare. So it's a matter mm -hmm. of time um, that we can actually see who is the uh, you know, stronger guild for this night. Earlier, uh, last Nightmare managed to uh, show, show us how to defend and how to wipe a one or two parties using like four to five players so mm -hmm. i think uh, dominari wants to take a revenge on that and uh show um last nightmare how to defend the the entrance and right now i think the uh, last nightmare i think they're are they gonna commit now here let's go and check oh i think not. dominari increased their numbers on this yeah well there are a lot of numbers right there for uh for for Dominari mm -hmm. because uh, earlier last nightmare has a lot of numbers right there as well but you know maybe we can see a different push at the last hour yep for um, of the of War of Imperium but uh, we can see here uh, Do Dominari just defending Scarlet Palace and uh, we can actually try and roam around MG and see yep. if there That's are good. other people in other castles and uh, while roaming around you know, um, I'm pretty sure guilds right now are prepped up. They have a um, quick, um, maybe a quick uh, brief view about the other guilds on what they are up against. Right now, you know, if you are low on numbers, if you don't have an alliance, you will have a hard time because uh, like Last Nightmare and uh, Dominari, they've shown that they have a lot of numbers here in the first war of Imperium. So this is uh, going to be hard for guilds like uh, Money Heist who don't have a lot of numbers. Uh, Nonsense doesn't have a lot of numbers as well. Uh, but I think they are still recruiting so maybe they are just uh, preparing or not that, um, you know, all set or WOE just, -E just yet. Yeah. And the uh, Kremlin has been occupied ju by just a game, so... You know they're just occupying castles left and right like uh, what i've said earlier these are the small smaller guilds i think if the smaller guilds uh play their cards properly they can actually get more points versus the larger guilds on the last minute if they can actually uh um break multiple guilds before the uh, time ends they can uh, get at least minimum of five or three or to five points so i think uh the guilds or the small guilds that we have here um, are aware about the, uh, I mean, on what's happening on Payan. Mm -hmm. So that's why they, they're, they're taking advantage on breaking the Imperiums. Yeah, well, uh, you know, in order for you to actually get those rewards that you want, because the tier A rewards are great, um, you can actually get a Dark Lord card if you manage to get that tier A reward. Let's go, uh, in Dark this, Lord. Uh, <laughs> 
grand openings War of Imperium event. So that's a huge thing because MVP card is still an MVP card. So like I mentioned earlier, um, just a game. They have a breaker earlier on the uh, on Frontera, and right now they have few defenders here defending the Imperium. Um, I think they're doing well when it comes to uh, scattering their members and taking objective. So very very uh, well um, well strat here coming from the uh, from this guild. Yeah, and I think uh, you know uh, I haven't seen the goons just yet. So maybe they are occupying okay, a different castle. So Goons is here. I think these are <laughs> yeah, Goons is there. Yeah. So they, they are just defending this. Well. So maybe they have people at the entrance or just defending that M room. Because this M room is really hard to defend. This castle. Yeah. Um by the layout of this castle, there are a few choke points um uh, that you can uh, actually hold. Uh, but Goons has a lot of numbers as well. They are just not um, together right now. But uh, they have a lot of numbers. They actually they can actually deal with their opponents uh, perfectly mm -hmm. when uh, when the, they actually attack at this castle. But you know, numbers is going to be an advantage. Uh, I think this is the Bamboo Grove Hill Castle, if I'm not yep, mistaken. This is the Bamboo Grove. Bamboo Grove Hill, yeah. So they are just going to defend this. I think Goons are occupying. Um, Bamboo Grove Hill, Scarlet Palace is now occupied by Dominary. Uh, just a game um, is uh, just at, uh, maybe attacking um, or uh, trying to find out where you know there are no people in the Emp Room, so maybe they, they can actually catch that or break that castle. Mm hmm. So maybe, um, MG, we can actually mm -hmm. take a look at the guild flag of Luina 4. Luina 4, okay. I think there are aggressor is outside that castle. So they might hold okay. this castle as well. Let me just go ahead and uh, check on something. Give me one quick one. Big one. Mm hmm so, you know, while uh, things are being checked oh, right now... Yeah, let me uh, check the... Uh, how about you can che uh, check the schedule first for the next session, uh, James? Let me just go ahead and... Uh, uh, yeah, 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 we're... Actually, the next session, like what I've mentioned earlier, there are four sessions here uh, for the event here in ROGGH. Of course, for the rewards, we need um, you know 10 points for that tier A reward. And for the rewards... Uh, like what I've mentioned earlier, you can actually get a boss card um, in a, by just a joining the event. Mm -hmm. But it, this is going to be hard because in order for you to get that tier A reward, uh, you know you need to occupy a lot of castles. You need to you need to occupy a lot of castles right there. But um, you know um, they're in a, what do you call this? In a in a in a situational standpoint, you know, you are going to consume a lot of supplies. Yes. You are going to battle a lot of guilds. Uh, you need to participate in every session if you want to get that tier A or tier B reward. So exactly. you need to occupy at least one castle every session. So uh, go ahead and go to Luina 4 castle, um, MG. Luina 4... I believe I saw nonsense and aggressor earlier right there. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, for the tier A rewards, you can all, of course get that costume hoplite helmet, dark Lord card, ten magic card albums. Mm -hmm. Um for that magic card al album you can actually have a chance to get a mini boss card like Ghost Ring, Deviling, and uh, Dark Illusion, so on and so forth. Uh, you you also get blacksmith blessing, carnium, and bradium, which, which you can actually use to um, upgrade your equipment. Yep. So currently, uh, what we have here is NS is uh, securing the entrance here. Like I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, yes, uh, there is um, some players here defending this castle. And uh, let's check uh, outside if um, if there's any attacker. Currently, uh, NS is trying to port out now. I think they're gonna push another map. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, maybe they them. are going to push another map. Uh, let's take a look at, um, you know, Luina actually getting Luina one actually getting captured by Dominari, and uh, Fratres ad vitam. Um, you know, they are occupying castles as well, so maybe they are not actually, um, you know, trying to defend a castle but just breaking those imperials to so get their name out, probably. And uh, you know they want to save as much supplies okay. as possible. Speaking of um, last night, Mayor James, they're here now, and uh, I think uh, their next target is Gaffen now. Mm -hmm. Well, they are here in uh, this castle, and uh, Hohens won't go. So they are defending this castle. So Money High is trying to go in. Yeah? yeah, they are trying to push in. But the numbers game, I uh, like what I've said earlier, Last Nightmare has a lot of numbers. So yep. this is going to be hard two, for the guild to push these in. These two players from MH is not... is managed to uh, sustain the damage come from the Last Nightmare. Mm -hmm. But they just entered, so yeah. there there is a, a portal delay, though. So, yeah, Last Nightmare just holding this entrance area while, uh, you know, they are just going to defend. Mm -hmm. I don't think they actually captured this castle just yet yeah so they are just uh taking this castle no uh, no they actually have this castle on their uh, on hand yep. so this is uh hoheng Chongo is occupied by the last nightmare all right and uh you know some players are busy leveling as well right now because you know um mg as uh the woe is released you know players can enjoy 100 percent exp boost till june 28 6 pm gmt plus yeah. eight you know this should enable players to reach their desired levels quicker and participate in the war of imperium event yes and mm -hmm. um if you need the um you know extra push just in case that you need to reroll for certain jobs or specific um you know um if you're gonna be a ground control type or support type or a tanker, this is actually the perfect time to uh, level up the character. Mm, paired up with the free reset, you know, you're not mm -hmm. going to have a hard time. So this is actually the best uh, opportunity for you now to level up uh, your characters and uh, maybe get reset um, ready for the next session. So the next session will be on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. So we yeah. still have an hour to go in this session right now and um we can see the guilds are just you know testing the waters like yep. what i've said earlier first maybe. half yeah and um for the second half i think uh, we're gonna see a lot of uh more aggressive push from from other guilds again the last one hour i think they're gonna go for for the objective or for the uh, for the final push here so mm -hmm. they need to reestablish right away they need to resupply they need to talk it out which castle to defend or which castle to attack in order for them to uh, have that a bit of time to um, to defend and plan it out for the last five minutes because the last five minutes like you mentioned earlier is very crucial uh, on this game they can actually break uh, break an imperium they can actually take down or ninja cap a, uh, a castle on that five minute mark mm -hmm. And uh, last night, Perry just defending this castle very nicely. I think um, Scarlet Palace uh, is still getting defended by Dominari, but they actually occupied a different castle as well. So yep. let's try and take a look at the Payon um, castle or uh, Scarlet Palace, MG. Yep, let's go. Mm hmm. Take a... So, ooh, not a lot of people outside. Yeah. So they are. There are no people outside for some reason. So they actually um, pushed out a different spot. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. Let's check this one. Uh, very, very quickly, a lot. Not a lot of people right there Yeah. Um, in Scarlet Palace. So um, I think they are chasing a guild right there or exactly. they're planning to go for a GVG. But, uh, you know, this is still, we're just one hour in our session right now so they yeah. have a lot of time to decide where and they want to go yes james and i noticed james as well um dominari has the solar barriers moving out 
uh, from their defense area in trying to scout out which castle is available and which castle is defended by a certain guild. So mm-hmm. I think they're maximizing their resources to know um, what guilds to be, uh, you know, what what castle to push, what castle to defend. So I really uh, like how Dominari plays uh, play the strategy for this war of Imperium. Mm-hmm. But you know, uh, the current trend from what I've saw for the past mm-hmm. hour, MG, um, there are hot castles. Exactly. So right now, the hot castle is Hohenshwango. Earlier, it was Scarlet Palace. Mm-hmm. But I'm not sure. Um, you know, I think they are just going to. They are just planning to go on a GVG, because we still have one hour left. Yep. So they are just uh, going outside. They want to push a castle right here. Uh, we are just going to wait for them to push in. I think some members are pushing in right now. We can actually okay. check that out. Uh, MG, uh, last nightmare was defending that Dominari entrance last earlier night on. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Dominari going in. Last nightmare. Quick you can LPR? see last nightmare. The numbers is actually getting reduced right now. But since this is the entrance of the castle, it's easy for these uh, the members of either guild LB? to go inside very, very quickly. Dominari Land protector get. getting quest- casted. Yeah. LP here, quick LP here on the on Dominari trying to uh, secure first the, uh, their spot. They, they don't need to rush here. They just need to get their members inside uh, the castle first before pushing. And right now, um, last night we recognized that they have they're very outnumbered uh, on this stage. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think uh, we're seeing uh, Dominari now pushing. Mm-hmm. But uh, the n- numbers of Dominari got reduced right there because of the skills that was casted earlier. Some Dragon Breaths and, and you can see here the spam or the damage that uh, Last Nightmare caused. I think uh, Mechanic went in and actually suicide but I'm not really sure I, I, I didn't see that perfectly right there. But Dominari is just trying to push in Last Nightmare Last as Nightmare. well just defending this entrance. You know, but the numbers of Last Nightmare, I think they went inside their amp room and maybe yep. try and defend a different spot. But uh, like what we've seen earlier, the numbers of Dominari is no joke. This yeah. is going to be hard for Last Nightmare to actually defend a guild against Dominari who has dominating numbers right now. Yes. But Last Nightmare, if they actually hold their spot together oh. and uh, maybe maybe just uh, hold it right with that Loki's veil uh, inside or, or uh, beside that uh, portal, they mm-hmm. can actually try and defend that castle. But this is going to be hard for Last Nightmare. Yes, and um, like, you, like you said earlier, I think Dominar is chasing La- Last Nightmare. Um, every uh, When uh, Last Nightmare pushes to a certain uh, spot or for example a, um, a castle, Dominar immediately went in and try to uh, GBG them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. and uh, right now, Dominari uh, preparing to push. Of course, they're holding this entrance. We can actually push in with that red emblem, uh, Dominari Guild. I think this is the attacker the red um, yep. guild or, or, or uh, attacker guild of Dominari. So uh, the red emblem of a Dominari pushes in first. Then the purple one will push in second. So I they have the numbers game right there. Um, so they are just going to maybe try and do their best and occupy this castle, but they need to push together. I think because this is last maybe nightmare. The, mm-hmm. Um this is the round two of the push again for the Imperium. Yeah. Um let's wait for actually Dominari to push in. Uh, I think they are going to prep outside of this portal. So, yeah, they are just going to regroup outside this uh, castle right here or th- this portal right here. And, yeah, this is going to be ex- an intense battle between these two guilds because they've been uh, at it against each other since uh, earlier. Uh, in Scarlet Palace, Last Nightmare was defending, Dominari went in. Yep and uh, finish them off and occupied that Imperium. But right now, they followed them here in Hohenschwango. Yep. And uh, regarding the confidence of Dominari, I think the confidence of Dominari right now is on top now. Regarding their numbers, they know that they can actually take down any kills on their way. But then again, last nightmare, showing that they can, uh, you know, contest this uh, this guild. So let's go ahead and uh, check now if... Uh, if Dominari can uh, can be successful in this, so oh my God, the numbers. 
Mm-hmm. They have a lot of numbers right now. Um, and what's uh, hard for both of these guilds is that there is no emergency call. Yep. And uh, the flag warp of this castle is located just there um, at the at that map, uh, that area right there. But you can see here some slow we dance coming from that uh, from that wonder just slowing down members of Dominary from pushing in. They are going to push right now. Uh, I think members of Last Nightmare are defending that Imperium area. But I'm not really sure because this is going to be hard for uh, Last Nightmare to defend with the numbers of Dominari right here. But I think some members of Dominari actually pushed in right now. Yep. So we can actually check that. Um, no members of oh, Last Nightmare they, here. So they, they actually out. went out. They are... Uh, Butterfly winged out, or maybe character select to actually uh, let Dominari uh, take this castle. So I think last night where it is not planning to go for those um, long battles against another guild exactly. right now. I mean, as if, Dominari occupies. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if they have more numbers than you, you need to play your cards well, right? So if yeah. you um, if you can just um, gank and push, I think you can do that. But with these numbers of Dominari, I think Dominari is going to dominate um, any uh, castle he's defending right now. With their mm -hmm. execution, of course. Yeah, but uh, since they have numbers right there, um, you know, uh, Dominari can actually choose a castle and maybe take two castles because they have two separate guilds with different yep. emblems. So if they are secure with one castle or they actually secured the hot castle, they can go for another castle and uh, maybe defend that and uh, occupy it or capture it at the last few minutes of War of Imperium. But right now, Hohenshuang Go Last Nightmare is, I think, outside. Uh, let's check inside that uh, portal if they are actually defending. Um, okay. No. Actually, uh, Dominari is defending that entrance area as well. I don't think Last Nightmare will push right now since we yep. have um, maybe around 50 more minutes here in our first War of Imperium session. Mm -hmm. So maybe let, we can try and take a look at uh, Payon Castle, maybe Scarlet Palace. Maybe there are players out there. Um, not really sure though. Because uh, they have a lot of numbers. Okay. I think uh, mm -hmm. this is Last Nightmare now. Yes. And, uh, okay, Last Nightmare here. Know. Yeah, so... Yeah, like what I've mentioned earlier, MG. Um, Last Nightmare, I think, is not really... Uh, going for those long battles against another guild right now. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, there's still a lot of time here in our first War of Imperium session, so maybe they can capture a castle later on or go for the battles later on around 30 minutes before yeah. the session last ends. Last 30 minutes. Yep. Okay, the last 30 minutes is going to be crucial for everyone. Um, you, mm -hmm. we, I think we will see guilds moving to different um, guild, um, different uh, Imperiums. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, this is going to be a tough battle for our guilds. Um, because if you want to take a hot castle, it's going to be hard yep. for a guild. But if you want to take smaller castles um, to actually occupy and uh, maybe, you know, get those uh, points for the rewards, it can be easier. But, you know, you won't get the rewards that you want in hot mm -hmm. castle. I think our finest managed to secure uh, Gwendol there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, so and uh, last here. nightmare. Yeah, last nightmare is going to defend this entrance. Um, yeah, just capture, defend. They have numbers, like what I yes. said earlier. MG, they have numbers, but not really planning to go for that GVG right now. Uh, Money Heist is occupying castles as well. So, uh, hot castles, Hohenshwango and Scarlet Palace. Yeah. Um, I've seen players in. Uh, Britonia Castle Britonia, as yes, well. Yes. Yep. Yeah, and uh, some members in uh, Pontera or Valkyrie Realm. So they are just taking their time because we still have a lot of time before this first session ends. Yes, including NS. I think uh, NS um, laid low a bit regarding the uh, the push or engagement when it comes to uh, the big guilds. So I think uh, they're just playing it safe for the meantime. And mm -hmm. Yes, the last 30 minutes is going to be a different story. 
um, hopefully we can expect more clashes and uh, more Imperium breaks from the skills. Mm -hmm. They are taking their time though. So I'm just scouting around as well, looking to see where the other players are at right now. So uh, take a look at uh, Valkyrie 4. I think uh, Nonsense is there. And a um, few members of Arsenal is uh, pushing in. So I think uh, Nonsense is actually just trying to uh, defend uh, this uh, castle. Mm -hmm. And LS, while they are defending Scarlet Palace, uh, you know, we have members here of Nonsense in Skogo. Yep. So okay. we can check that out right now. Arsenal. Arsenal's check. outside and Nonsense oh, is defense. Nonsense. Mm -hmm. To be fair, Nonsense has good numbers as well. Um, yep. It's just that uh, they, they know for a fact that um, Last Remnant and Dominari has a, uh, you know, has the number advantage regarding mm -hmm. for uh, defending in Saint for pushing. So yeah. taking this, uh, this castles from time to time or small castles from time to time can actually uh, give them Hopefully, extra points at the end of this um, working period. Yeah. Well, uh, there are two different goals for the guilds right here. If they are planning to get rewards, uh, they can occupy castles. But if they are planning to get, um, you know, the specific treasure chest items, mm -hmm. you can go for those hot castles yeah, for that are being chest. occupied right now. But uh, I think Nonsense right now is just going to hold this castle. Maybe they want that tier A reward as well. So this is going to be a hard battle for Nonsense. They don't have a lot of numbers compared to um, to uh, Dominari. But uh, I want to check where Goons and uh, Money Highs are at right now. As well as the other kills. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen Aggressor uh, just trying to attack specific or uh, random castles as well. Um, you know... Um, aggressor and arsenal arsenal rather is attacking other castles as well so we can we also saw a member of finest uh arsenal Vigila is uh, vigilantes yes v vigilantes yep. and uh few other guilds so right here this Ad Vitam. Yeah. dominari and arsenal is moving now they recognize mm -hmm. that they um ns has more yeah. numbers here I think they just want to clash it out. Dominari mm -hmm. here currently. Like I said earlier, um, James, about a Dominari. Dominari has this scout from um, from their group that's been scouting um, castles from time to time, making sure that um, the, the guilds that's who's defending, they're trying to, uh, I think they're trying to uh, engage it. I think mm -hmm. the guilds that are um, defending here is, uh, I think they recognize um, yeah, I think uh, yeah. Dominari recognized that uh, that NSC is here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dominari right now, uh, I think only a few members of Dominari are pushing in. Maybe they want to test NS. Uh, because Dominari, I think, because they have a lot of numbers, they can actually scout and push out, uh, push in other castles. So slowly but surely, they are testing the waters of other guilds. Uh, that's what you get for having a number advantage. Yes. You can um you know just go in and out freely without uh causing too much harm to your defense in another yep. castle good defense here coming from uh ns nonsense mm -hmm. i think dominari is just uh the first wave is first wave of dominari is just scouting yes and uh right now um i think castles are getting defended we still have um, 45 minutes to 45 go minutes, yes. here in our first War of Imperium session. But, you know, uh, MG, mm -hmm. uh, for our new players out there, we also have a new permanent feature here in ROGGH. Of course, to help our new players, uh, we now have a level up yes. box. Mm -hmm. Upon creating a new character, a new item, new user box will automatically appear in your inventory. Opening the box will um, grant you various consumables yep. and equipment. For every 10 levels achieved until level 90, you can open a new box and receive more items. 
Of course, if you want to find out more about the feature, you can visit the website ro.genjoy.asia or join the ROGGH community Discord. Links are in the description of the stream or in the pinned comment. So make sure to check it out. Yep. All right. So, yeah. Um, Waters are a, just getting tested right now. Though. Yeah, I think uh, there's a different uh, Dominari logo there. A yellow one. Oh, a yellow one. Mm. And uh, I think Dominari is preparing to push. I think this is the red yeah, Dominari is... just preparing to push. I think uh, the red Dominari is the, the one, attack though. guild and the uh, pink one is the like the defend guild, defense guild. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think they're gonna commit now. Mm, slowly but surely, uh, Locus Vale got uh, cancelled right there. Dominari okay, pushing Miguel. in. They have that land protector out. Um, nonsense actually uh, pushed in. Maybe try and defend that yep. castle. Directly um, point. Yeah, and the players are just uh, going in left and right from uh, Dominari. Maybe they want to conquer this castle. Of course, um, Dominari, I think it's in for that GVG mm -hmm. battle against other guilds. But uh, they are, um, you know, they are ready to battle because they have a lot of numbers. So they not, they, they are not consuming a lot of supplies right now. Um, and uh, slowly but surely, of course, maybe later on we can see them defend uh, a castle. Um, but right Ooh. now we can see here. Oh, this is a different guild though. This is Fratres Ad Vitam. Yeah, Fratres. So Nonsense is defending for Ad Fratres Ad Vitam earlier. So now, right now, Fratres Ad Vitam is defending this. Um, just, just let's just wait for um, the guilds to actually push in that uh, portal later on. But we can see some rune knights going in. Maybe they can cast something right there. They can push in, but this is going to be hard yep. for those rune knights because there's a classical pluck or Rocky's Veil um, in the beside that in, uh, portal. They're uh, rebuffing now, so as you can see, they want to make sure that the uh, the portal is pretty um, is secured. So they're casting a uh, SG, and I think they're asking for a buff. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I think uh, players are just buffing each other right there. Of yep. course, buff. Um, you know, other castles are being uh, taken right there as well. Nemesis Armada. Ooh, they Ooh, actually captured Britonia yeah. Five. And, uh, you know, we still have a lot of time. So, yeah. you know, it's almost time for the crucial minutes here in our Warf Imperium. Um, we still have 40 minutes left. Uh, like what we've said earlier, MG, mm -hmm. we are expecting players to capture castles or maybe take the fight seriously at the last 30 minutes. But here we go. Here, uh, we can see we here can. the classical pull-up got cancelled right there. Dragon's pushing Breath out. getting casted. They are pushing up really, really nicely right there. They are using their numbers as as advantage to push this castle. So this is going to be hard for um, a small guild like Fratres Advitam or not. Three, I don't. I'm not sure if they're really that small, but. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of numbers compared to Dominari right yeah, there. Yeah, I think Dominari They're just is, going to hit it. I think Dominari earlier, uh, James, is blocking the uh, members of uh, mm -hmm. of the uh, Defender Guild earlier. So that's why uh, I think they're having a hard time on defending this um, yeah. area. Yeah, and uh, they're just going to take this uh, Imperator. I think no one wants to contest the attack mm -hmm. or the offensive uh, you know, power of Dominari right now so that's why they are just um, you know just going just going out of the castle and letting Dominari occupy the castle that they are defending I because you know Dominari Dominari's numbers are too much right now to handle yep. for the other guilds but how about nonsense plus last remnant versus Dominari I think mm -hmm. that's gonna be a good fight well uh, you know uh, this is just the first session yeah. so I believe the second session will be different. We still have members of Dominari still there. Uh, just checking if there are players maybe who will um, enter that castle. Mm -hmm. uh, Scarlet Palace has players uh, occupying it as well right now. So Last Nightmare is still here. Okay, speaking of Last Nightmare. Okay. Mm. So that's a good defense. Look at the, the defense right now of Last Nightmare. Like a U-shape right now. <laughs> A U shape right now for last night, where of course they have that classical pluck or uh, mm -hmm. that uh, Loki's veil. 
um, get casted there at the at the floor of that portal to prevent other players from cast immediately. And at the same time, the sewers are just uh, guarding. If anyone, uh, if anyone wants to go in, I think they're mm -hmm. they're ready to uh, take that uh, one hit shot. Yes. Uh, while uh, last nightmare is defending this castle right here. Uh, MG, how about you explain to our viewers, you know, the promo of Razor Go Gold 4 at this month of oh, June. Oh yeah, Razor Gold, yep. No worries about uh, what Razor Gold guys from May 26th to June 30th. Yep. Recharge your G Enjoy account via Razor Gold Wallet and get some in-game items such as Mystic Powder, Tears Blessing, Ultimate Flywing Box, Almighty's Power Boosters, Infinity Drinks, and Safe to five armor certificate and costume magic circle for free. At the same time, players will receive 5% bonus Razor Gold with a minimum recharge of 20,000 KP while stack last. And um, of course, for the Top Spender promotion, the Top Spender will receive a Razor Huntsman version 2 clicky optical switch. And for the second and third Top Spender, will receive a Black Shark version 2. And for the fourth and tenth Spender, Will receive ten dollars razor gold voucher and of course for more information about this promotion you can visit our website rogenjoy.asia or join the ro community gjs discord and you can actually uh check all of this uh in the description of the stream yes and uh you can not only get in-game items but uh, but uh you know physical items as well to to pimp up your your setup or <laughs> Like that. Razor buff, you know, let's go. Razor buff. Uh, yeah, razor buff for razor the month of June. Of course, for July, this is going to be different. Uh, I think we also have a promo for July as well, but this is only for the month of June. Again, this is for the recharge from May 26 to June 30th, June 30th, yep. 2022, 11:59 p.m. So, so when July hits, you know, <laughs> recharges at that time. Even at July uh, yeah. 1 at 12 a.m., you know, it won't count. Yeah, so you All right. get your Razor buff uh, ASAP. Yes, and, uh, you know, we we have a lot of ongoing promotions, events, and features right now in ROGGH. And uh, we can see that uh, the War of Imperium, the first session of War of Imperium is, you know, uh, really pumped up. Uh, not a lot of players are conflicting each other uh they want to play it a little bit more safe like what i said earlier testing yep. the waters because they don't want to waste too much supplies uh because we still have a lot more sessions to go for the for the event so maybe at the last 30 minutes which will happen in a few minutes um you know we can see guilds just uh getting neck and neck against each other occupying castles left and right for those rewards and um, again, the rewards is uh, actually they need to take advantage of the rewards if they want to if they want to pump up their uh, you know their gears. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think uh, Dominari is staying here, the pink one. Yep, and uh, uh, like uh, what you said earlier, MG, uh, this is going to be a different battle later on. Yep. Um, we see some players occupying uh, different random castles. Yep. Well, uh, last night nightmare is holding Scarlet Palace right now. Uh, we saw um, what they call this Dominari conquer Skogul earlier, mm -hmm. as well as uh, Hohenschwang Go. Yes. Um, Money Heist was in Virgil earlier as yep. well in the, uh, in the Britannia Castle. So slowly but surely, guilds are. Um, just trying to occupy different castles, and uh, smaller guilds are occupying random castles as yep. well. I think the smaller guilds are are trying to take advantage of the of the big fights right now with the with the guilds. They want to uh, avoid those fights. They just want to cap. They just want to take points, and maybe they just want to take home the reward uh, mm -hmm. for them to um, recruit more and at the same time to uh, increase their item progression. Yes, and uh, yeah, they are smaller guilds are taking really taking advantage of the 
the bigger guild, the fight of the bigger guilds because yep. they can conquer um, other castles. So that's why they are not present in hot castles such as Scarlet Palace, uh, Hohengshwango, uh, Skogo. Yep. Uh, Kremhild earlier was occupied. We saw Dominary mm -hmm. um, in Kremhild briefly. Goons was there as well. Um, some members of Money Heist was there as well. Virgil Guild is kind of a hot castle but not that hot compared to Scarlet Palace and Hohenshwango. Um So really, uh, guilds are playing it a little bit more safe here. Uh, we are expecting, you know, alliances alliances to be formed mm. in the next session because uh, you know I'm expecting alliances to be formed in the second WOE. Looking at the numbers of Last Nightmare and um, um, Dominari, Dominari. Dominari, they might make alliances to actually uh, give them that extra boost in advantage to deal with other guilds. Yep, and um, and th at the same time, James, the beauty of having uh, multiple castles open, um, it's mm -hmm. The strategies are not limited into one big push, like a, uh, a train meta that you're just gonna go in and uh, you know um, kill everyone. Having yeah. um, multiple guilds open, it gives you that um, that extra strategy to flank, to uh, to ninja cap, or even um, read the opponent's uh, movement, so you can avoid those. Uh, Bad clashes on your side of uh, for your for your guild, of course, right? Mm -hmm. So I think um, that's one of the best things that I like about what they did here in the of what they did here in the War of Imperium. They opened the castle. It's not only the uh, you know the big guilds who's um, taking the benefit from the WoE, but also those small guilds or those um, uprising guilds that we have here can actually participate and uh, compete as well with their mm -hmm. numbers so i really like what um ggh uh, did here yes um but you know uh, from i think i'm expecting the larger guilds to have some breakers ready to get points uh to break uh mm -hmm. imperiums and get points later on before yeah. the session and maybe in the last five minutes of this uh uh first session of war of imperium um of course they need to get their uh, breakers ready for the rewards because uh, you know like what i've mentioned earlier and i've mentioned it multiple times yeah. for the past hour the rewards here are great in the event of roggh because you, you know you can get um a uh, dark lord card a magic card album to get the uh, mini boss cards a chance to get mini boss cards and of course you get those uh, you get a costume and um you know uh, upgrade equipment so yep. a lot of stuff Yeah. Okay, so, so while you are scouting castles, I'm scouting castles as well. So <laughs> maybe we can uh, yeah, check out. True. So Krefield nonsense is there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So slowly but surely, they are just trying to occupy castles. Nonsense don't have a lot of numbers compared to um, what do you call this? Um, to uh, 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 do Dominari, Dominari and, uh, and uh, Last, and last Nightmare. Nightmare. Yeah. Um, Goons has numbers as well, but uh, I'm not sure where they're at right yeah. now. Including uh, Money Heist. Haven't seen uh, Money, Money Heist. Heist. Yeah. yeah, Money Heist is uh, kind of quiet now as well. So, I think uh, they are just waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. Uh, they are fairly quiet, of course. Um, because maybe they don't want to attract too yeah. much attention yes exactly and uh, uh -huh. as you can see the uh, notification you can actually see the uh, money hikes is capping multiple guilds so i think mm -hmm. uh their strategy is working they're trying to uh you know avoid those um big clashes right away mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you know, this is going to be a different game later on. Uh, Ho and Shuang Go doesn't have a lot of people right there. But I saw some uh, people occupying um, other guilds in the Luwina realm. Kremil has been occupied by nonsense like what we've seen earlier. They are defending the entrance. Okay. And uh, I see a guild. Uh, first time I've seen this guild uh, in Phoenix Reborn. Actually captured Mercedes in uh, Britonia 5. So maybe he's just a lone, lone uh, guild member or the yeah. guild leader of a different guild. You know, you're just trying to participate. 
you know, not not that um, uh, big of a guild. Just trying to participate in War Imperium. Like everyone uh, got their chances here, um, because again, we're talking about twenty castles open, mm -hmm. um, and it's very. As you can see earlier, on on our on our stream, not all castles are properly defended. Most of the castles are yeah. open. Most of the castles are actually free to take down immediately. So mm -hmm. if you're a brand new guild, if you have the chance to uh, participate on this um, War of Imperium. Yeah, and uh, I think Dominari is just, maybe because of their numbers, maybe they are just going to hold uh, different spots. Um, they want to get points, yes, but they want to get a hot castle as well. Mm -hmm. That's also a yes. So maybe, maybe they are leaving some members outside or inside the imperium just to scout on uh, uh the other castles like what you've mentioned earlier uh, because of their numbers they are pushing out some of their members in different castles to scout yep and then notice as well james i think uh dominari slowed down a bit uh on their aggressiveness when it comes to uh, attacking multiple castles um earlier hmm. uh, when um last remnant defended this this castle they immediately went in they immediately mm -hmm. uh took down the defense of last remnant and when when last remnant moved to a different castle or a uh, different imperium dominari immediately went there and forced the clash but on um, mm -hmm. like what we keep on saying earlier the last half of this warf imperium is going to be a different strategy i think they're just going to tone down a bit on their attack and their aggressiveness they're just going to focus on scouting and capturing uh, those Imperiums for the pointing system. Yes. And uh, we are in a 30-minute mark here in our War of Imperium. Of course, last Nightmare is still defending that. Not a lot of people are outside uh, Scarlet Palace right now. Um, right now, they are, guilds are scattered. So maybe they will defend the yeah. other specific castles. Uh, I've seen okay. people in Rothenburg. There are people in Kremhild. Uh, I think one player just shouted, you know, um, they want people to go inside Cranfield to actually <laughs> fight another guild. So, yeah. like, right now, they are people are uh, outside Cranfield Castle. So, maybe we can go in and take a look at what's happening inside. I think that's nonsense, think, just uh, defending that N area, though. I think NS should be aware. I think they need to put a scout outside to check um, on how many players are, gonna, uh, are they going to face on this push. Mm -hmm. So currently, uh, they're, tri they're still trying to uh, establish their defense. They need to reestablish that right away. They need to put traps to delay those uh, players. If they don't, if they cannot do that instantly, I think uh, Dominari can uh, just steamroll uh, nonsense of this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but I, some okay. members of Domin Dominari pushing. Yep, Dominari is here now. Just a game is there as well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's Dominari and just the game with that alliance, or is it nonsense and, or goons and uh, just the game? Yep. Um, yeah, but I think goons are and somewhere sure. in another castle yep. right now. Um, just the game is okay, there. The members of Dominari, nonsense, actually got pushed out. A member of Money Heist, a sorcerer Money of Heist Money is Heist. Killing, uh, nonsense now. Yeah, and uh, they just want to go in for that uh, battle, you know, Just they're just going in for that Wait, PvP. Hey, so, Money Heist will try and occupy Kremhild right now, I think. But they are uh, getting slowed down by uh, that slow dance or uh, DFM push, by yes. that wonder. They need to push as fast as they can. Um, I think uh, most of the Dominari is just, uh, just wiping the players near the entrance. So if uh, Manihas can uh, go inside the Imperium uh, immediately, they can actually take down the Imperium and uh, take the sword or take the Imperium out of the hands of uh, these defenders. Yeah, but we'll see later on how much people are defending this castle. Maybe nonsense in inside. So if we take a look, this is actually one of the choke points here in castle. No, 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 no players no are inside here in a Kremhild. So maybe inside the Amp Room, this is also another choke point here in Kremhild. Um, so maybe they are going to defend that MH? area. MH and uh, no defense. No, no defense, defense here in Kremhild. Quick break here. Yeah, but uh, a member of Nonsense just defending the castle. Sustaining the damage. So, yeah. 
So I think uh you know uh, Money Heist will be able to take this Cram Hill castle. Yeah. They need to take um, it as fast as they can. All for themselves. Though. Yep. Yeah, so um, you know, nonsense just trying to defend that castle, but you know, with their numbers, uh, they aren't able to do so. So yep. maybe they will occupy a different castle right now. Um, yep. Kill on site or KOS occupied Skogul Castle, uh, that is in Valkyrie 4. Arsenal occupied Fadkid or Valkyrie Just again 3. pushing in, Dominari so, is here now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they are just going to push in, and uh, right now Money Heist is inside Money that Heist, let's go. But, uh, I, yeah, so I was wrong right there. So Money Heist was contested in actually taking mm -hmm. this Krem Hill Castle. So I think down. Dominari and Just the Game, they are the ones that are allied though. Yep. And, so, uh, yeah, so yeah. I think uh, Money Heist uh, failed to uh, cap this. And, uh... Ma maybe they're not really planning to capture this Imperium. Maybe they just want to go in for that GVG. Yeah. So it really depends on their strategy. But right now, Scarlet Palace still getting defended by Last Nightmare. Uh, Goon, uh, or maybe uh, the Dominary might push this castle later on. Uh, but I think Last Nightmare's defense here is solid. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think Dominary is defending a different castle right now. Maybe Hohenschwung go? Maybe, I don't know. Not really sure. But they are defending different castles. Or maybe they're not defending us at, at all. You can check the uh, Imperiums. Um, is defending. Uh... Okay, mm -hmm. this one is open. Yeah, and uh, players are just, you know, scattered all around different yeah. maps. So, yeah, we can uh, check other Imperiums, uh, MG. Maybe yep. you can uh, scout other Imperiums as well. Just go to the Imperium immediately and not dwell on uh, that area <laughs> for a long time. Just, yeah. uh, just a few really scouting. Like uh, the, the, uh, the fights there. I uh, really like the, uh, how they fight and... Uh, the commitment of uh, the clashes there it's really it's really nice mm -hmm. so just teleport to a different amp room it's so, so nice we one. can see a lot of vacant um castles right now of course we still have 20 more minutes left um castle ownership of different <laughs> castles will change later on i'm pretty sure that will happen because uh smaller guilds will try and occupy random castles I'm pretty sure that will happen because, um, you know, if they are smaller and a bigger guild just comes in and tries to take that castle that they are defending, they will have a hard time. Yeah. So maybe they might get the breakers ready. Um, you can see here, this is aggressor just aggressor holding this castle. Yep. So they, they have a good defense. They're not that big compared to Last Nightmare and uh, Dominari. But uh, they are just going to defend this castle. Uh, while some members of Dormari, there's that there's a Shadow Chaser from Dominari right there. Uh, really annoying character to deal with. Exactly. So, so Shadow Ch Chaser is an, an annoying character to deal Very with because uh, if you went for the you know for the tank build and uh, it's very mm -hmm. hard to kill to be honest. Yeah, so because Shadow Chasers have a skill that can dismount, uh, can strip your accessory or other items. So. They are annoying to deal with as um, if the Shadow Chaser is actually adept at using that character. Right now, they're just the Shadow Chaser just causing mayhem for uh, aggressor right here. But they are not really actually trying to um, kill that Shadow Chaser, so maybe that's why. Yeah. And right now, this is Infinix Reborn. Infinix Reborn. Defending a castle here in uh, Britonia. So slowly but surely, our yep. guilds are defending different castles. 20 more minutes left here in our Warframe period. And I think uh, the best thing about what uh, the best thing about our events right now is GGH managed to give uh, the new players the chance to catch up when it comes to uh, with this uh, with the Warframe current event with their mm -hmm. um, instant. Um, for the 100% XP boost, the unlimited resets, I think that mm. gives them uh, more room to uh, start here in uh, ROGGH. Yes, and of course, you can uh, maybe help out with your supplies or consumables with the popcorn event. 
uh, hundred days will get you more benefits. Of course, you can get a costume. I think sailor costume in hundred days event, yeah. as well as those enchantment stone boxes that you can enchant your costumes as well. Uh, for the popcorn event, you can get that uh, costume soda in mouth, uh, soda in mouth rather, or um, you can rent some popcorn hat and uh, that the three D glasses that help you in leveling. You can also enter that Korodo dungeon. Korodo, yeah. Uh, Corrodo in uh, Memorial Dungeon, rather. And of in, course, uh, Komodo. And of course, don't forget the Razor buff, right? Yes, Razor Gold buff, of course, the promo. Um, you know, you can get a lot of items for free, like Mystic Powders, Tears of Blessing, Unlimited Flywing Box, Almighty's Power Boosters, Infinity Drinks, Safety 5, Armor Certificate, and Costume Magic Circle. Yes, like what you mentioned, that is for free as long as you top up a specific amount for the duration. This is from May 26 mm -hmm. until June 30 of 2022. Yes. And you will also get a 5% Razor Gold uh, bonus with a minimum recharge of 20,000 KP. Of course, that's only while stocks last. Um, aside from that, there is a top spender promotion which you can get uh, a Razer Huntsman version 2 Quickie Optical Switch for the top spender. And the second and third st top spender, you can get the Black Shark V2. For the t fourth to tenth top spender, you will receive a $10 Razer Code voucher. Of course, if you want to know more information about this promotion, you can check out the website ro.gnjoy.asia or join the ROGGH community discord yep okay so uh, as we can see here's, um, I think last Ryman still depend on this one um, mm -hmm. oh last last nightmare sorry about that yeah last um, nightmare is just defending okay mga um, babaero cap uh, retonio one hmm. uh, I think that's just their guild name I don't think they're yeah. <laughs> they're that for mm -hmm. our players Filipino players out yeah. there uh, you know what that means but I don't think they're that but you can see here players just uh, uh, going in left and right in uh, different castles yep so they might be um, you know scouting out each and every castle for them to take later on yep uh, because we still have like a little bit minutes. over 50 yeah, 17 minutes, 17 minutes. Uh, before our War of Imperium ends. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think some castles are unoccupied right now. Yeah. Or castles. maybe smaller guilds are occupying those castles, but they are just hiding. They don't want to be seen. They don't want to cause too much attention because they don't want to attack the bigger guilds exactly. in defend or in attacking their castle because of course they want to take that castle for themselves. Yep. Again, uh, once you cap a uh, certain castle or brick and imperium, the uh, it will notify, it will have mm -hmm. a notification to the server that you managed to cap that. And I think um, if your if your guild is you know too hot on capping um, imperiums, I think uh, our guilds will get your you know will get you and um, yeah for sure. Well, you can attract a lot of attention yeah, from. Exactly. Uh, capturing a guild so some some guilds are not really trying to attract attention right now because like what we've mentioned earlier if you manage to um get a castle at the end of every of a session yep. uh your guild will have special benefits and uh, advantages like the treasure chest um the advantage of uh, entering the guild dungeon of course you get um reward points Rewards as, as well, well for event yeah okay i think uh the guilds are trying to slow down now. They recognize that uh, they only have like uh, like 16 minutes uh, mm -hmm. on their timer. So I think uh, multiple scouts are moving now from different castles. Yes. And uh, I think uh, Last Nightmare is the only consistent guild that is defending this castle right yeah. now. Um, I'm not sure where Dominari is at right now. Uh, earlier we saw them in Kremhild Castle. Mm -hmm. Uh, they might be pushing into a different castle as well. Last nightmare, some members are here in Hoenchwango. Yep. Maybe a guild is defending in the Imperium room. Um, I, I, I think I saw some smaller guilds in different Emp rooms as well. Uh, they are scattered all around, but you know, um, they're not really pushing aggressively right yep. now. 
Let's so maybe try and warp at the amp rooms of uh, different castles. Maybe we can spot other okay, uh, players stuff. out there. Oh! Mm. Oh, so uh, goons are defending us uh, one hill. So Swan maybe uh, let's try and take a look. Maybe a player or a guild is trying to attack this castle. Mm. So we can see a different emblem of goons, the purple one. Or the violet one, and uh, you can see some reverberations out there. Those musical notes on the ground, of course, <laughs> that can cause a lot of damage if you, uh, if a minstrel actually casts a skill in that reverb area. I think no one will contest this. Um, I think most of the guilds right now are trying to play it safe, making mm -hmm. sure that uh, they're gonna have at least one guarded um, castle. And the rest are going to be ninja cap. Yeah. Well, uh, I think uh, late, uh, earlier I saw a guild in Virgil. I, I'm not sure what guild this is. Um, they're just defending inside that amp room. But here in Krem Hill, of course, we have member of Dominari. Um, Money Heist, a shadow chaser of Money Heist is here as well. Yeah. Um, and maybe in the amp room, there are people. But no one is defending the entrance right now. Um maybe yeah i agree with you there mike uh, mg they are just uh, trying to scope things out they are defending mm -hmm. that uh, their own respective castles of course to get rewards for the event or maybe they don't want to consume too much supplies right now yeah again um they need to have like a consistent uh, resources here like mm -hmm. their potions blue potions as well in order for them to uh, to have that um uptime battle with other guilds and and of course, their defense as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we can see traps right there. Uh, Dominari actually yeah. I think that's defending the, fort. the castle. That's the fourth castle of uh, Dominari that's, uh, that's been being defended. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, um, at the start of the next session, MG, we mm -hmm. are going to show our viewers the points of our guild so at the start of the next session which will happen on tuesday, tuesday. um you know uh, we are going to announce the scores of the guilds so you know they are going to have a hard time if uh, they don't have scores in that earlier in the first session but i am pretty sure uh when the next session starts uh, there might be alliances uh getting formed up to deal with the bigger guilds uh, like Last Nightmare and uh, Dominari, like what we've seen earlier. But I don't think someone will contest Last Nightmare right now. We have a little bit over uh, maybe uh, 11 minutes 11 left minutes. here in yep. our session. Uh, first War of Imperium session. And uh, they're just scattered all around. Yep. Um, maybe there are people outside uh, Skogul Castle. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe there are people outside... Uh, uh, what do you call your brigar? Yeah. Uh, we saw do some members of Dominari in an Alde a Luina Castle. Um, some members in Kremhild in Pontera. Yep. And I think uh, we're approaching the last ten minutes of the War of Imperium, and this is the perfect mm -hmm. time to play their cards properly. Yeah, so, so if they if they have more numbers, they can actually uh, do a split push, um, capping multiple castle and defending it for the last five minutes to prevent those um, breakers from stealing the Imperium out, their, out of their hands. And for the smaller guilds, um, I think the best way that they can do here is just scout a quick call out to their members, break the Imperium, move to the next target, mm -hmm. and um, keep breaking as much Imperium as they can so they can actually, um, by the end of the time, they can actually get the points. Yes. And uh, we can see some um, guilds like uh, Nonsense, you know, occupying castles like, um, what do you call this? Deferion. Um, we see other castles getting occupied as well, like uh, Virgil by Goons. I think uh, Virgil is also a castle with a lot of good rewards. So yeah. maybe Goons is going to defend that castle as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So maybe they are going to defend their respective castles right now. But we've seen them de uh, defending their respective castles yep. like last night where they've been defending this castle for a little bit over 30 minutes now. Uh, their numbers dwindled up for a little bit. Maybe some of them are scouting inside yep. to check if there are members or there are other guilds inside their castle just uh, waiting for that last minute break. Um, there might be members of last nightmare in different castles as well to check if there are maybe defenders in a specific castle yeah. to actually go for that last minute break uh, same goes for the other guilds um hohen chuang go isn't occupied right now no one is defending it uh maybe they're defending it inside that amp room mm -hmm. uh you can see your dominari just trying to go in for that push maybe uh one of them or the guild or the castle is getting occupied right now or maybe someone is defending Ohen Chuang Go right now. So, can you check that, uh, MG? Yep. And, uh, yes, James. Uh, definitely, uh, most of the guilds right now is going to be... Are, or they're going to be playing defensively on this. Mm -hmm. So, they just need to maximize their res uh, resources at the same time. Um, put those key players on, on spot for defending. Like, um, for this Imperium, they uh, managed to put one Sura here. Just to uh, delay or just to take down the breaker uh, for the attacker for the superior. Yes, and uh, some members of uh, I think other guilds I see uh, KS or I think that this is kill on site or yeah, kill KS on guild um, is in a different uh, castle right now. So slowly but surely, our guilds are defending their own respective castles. So no one is actually taking the smaller castles right now uh i from my scouting on my end i've i'm seeing a lot of uh open castles right yep. now so there might be some players from big guilds um they might actually try and occupy these castles though mm -hmm. and um i think some of the players they don't want to take the risk anymore for uh you know going to one imperium and uh, putting their members there because again um, if you have your key players uh, protecting the Imperium, you can actually um, defend your um, periphery properly. Yeah. Especially if the skills are properly synced or if your skills are properly uh, executed at the same time for uh, for uh, for a big clash. You can take down even... Uh, I mean, you can take down one to two parties by using just uh, like uh, three to four players. Yeah. And... Uh... You know this is going to be different in the next session because right now they are they are just testing the waters yep. um i think the most of the goals uh the goal of uh, most of the guilds right now is to scout the enemy team see in which uh the hot the ca which castles are hot which castles or which guilds are um you know hard to deal with mm -hmm. uh and maybe they actually got the information that they need so all they need to do is to actually hold a castle for them to earn uh, rewards and get qualified for the tier A or tier B rewards uh, for our event. Yes. But you know, I I want to remind you all the the scenario on how you can get a tier A reward because you need ten points in a total of four sessions. So it's going to be difficult for a guild. If you want to maximize your rewards, you need to get as much breakers as possible and uh, capture as much castles as possible. Uh, I think the best uh, way for our guilds to do that is to leave the hot castles behind and go yeah. for uh, the other castles which aren't occupied right now. So this is different for bigger guilds. Of course, they want to get those specific items from treasure chests um, to get uh, to get them to craft god items in the yep. future when the update gets released but you know uh, for our smaller guilds i think the best way for them to actually uh, gain advantage is to get, get those rewards for them to yep. try and to get that tier a or tier b reward yep and um i agree uh, agree with you earlier um you mentioned that it's going to be a different story for our se uh, second session again the, the most um the most important thing that you need to have for this first session is the information from the other guilds on how they play, how they plank, how they um, capture uh, certain um, castles. For example, um, we saw earlier Dominari moving on the first hour or, or for the first set of our session. They actually uh, they immediately went to the bigger guilds 
um, try to GVG and um, try to cap multiple um, hot spots or hot um, castles. And on the second part, Dominari slowed down. And on the last 10 minutes, Dominari just um, left like multiple um, suras to defend the Imperium just to ensure the points um, that they can uh, get out of the session. So if you can yeah. actually uh, um, study and do a quick counter on that one, you can take over or um, get more points for the for yeah. the second session. Yes, and uh, you know we only have a few minutes left for our first War of Imperium session. So I think uh, guilds right now are planning to take to go for that last minute break some uh, breakers from other guilds. But you know guilds are just going to defend their own respective castles. Um, in our before our next session we'll know the points of our guilds but you know uh like what i've said earlier uh mg this yeah. is going to be a different story for our guilds it's going to be hard for them to capture or to get a lot of uh, reward points if they only manage to take one castle this yes. time because for example they actually manage to take one castle here that's only equivalent to one point, one point they yeah. still need nine more points and we still have a total of um, four sessions. They still have three more sessions to go to actually get those nine points. Exactly. So uh, to um, maybe uh, to even things out, they need to get at least three castles every session. Mm -hmm. it, that's going to be hard. Yep. It's um, the distribution of their numbers. Um, at the same time, um, consistent scouting as well uh, for mm -hmm. the bigger girls because the bigger girls has the advantage to... Uh, to divide their numbers and push to um, push the, to different imperiums, so the small mm -hmm. guilds needs to recognize that um, that they need to move fast. They need to cap as fast. Um, they need to take down those empty imperiums uh, on the last minute or last two minutes in order for them to uh, steal those um, sweet points out of the hands of the larger guilds. Yes. And right now, uh, you can see here Scarlet Palace getting defended really, really nicely. Uh, I'm scouting different areas as well to check if there are other guilds, you know, just uh, trying to break different spots as well. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of Dominari members in different areas of um, the, what do you call this, around mm -hmm. uh, the War of Imperium areas. And I think Last Nightmare is going to be able to occupy, yeah, so Last yeah. Nightmare actually occupied Alde Castle too. So they just broke that, um, you know, but I think Last Nightmare is going to occupy points because uh, I think no one will contest Scarlet Palace I right think, now. I uh, think they're gonna... Last Nightmare, they're gonna do a... Uh... Yeah, uh, they already gonna... occupied a castle yeah. right there. Uh, maybe Last Nightmare is planning to go for more castles later on. But uh, what's hard for our players right here is that they don't have a lot of numbers, uh, especially for the other guilds. Uh, you can see Last Nightmare here in... Uh, is this Hohen? I think it's Hohen Shwango. Yeah. Um, this is also a hot castle. So if they manage to take that or take this as well as... Um, what they call this? Scarlet Palace. They, two, they, they got two hot castles. Uh, in one session, so this yeah. is going to be a win-win scenario for them. Earlier, we saw um, massive clash uh, on this castle, in the same time with the uh, Pion castles as well. And I think, uh, like I like we mentioned earlier, the guilds are just going to be defensive uh, on mm -hmm. this one. They they don't want to burn more resources um, for the fights because um, it's only one minute, you know. So mm -hmm. they just want to maybe take those um smaller guilds i'm not yes. sure yeah. mm -hmm. um and i i think i saw um two castles uh getting occupied by nonsense so uh, as we can see right here so last nightmare if we can see the feed uh uh, MG, uh, I'm, uh, I'm just going to dictate the feed right here. Last Nightmare occupied six castles. Wow. Six castles for Last Nightmare. Dominari has, um, I think, this four? Four castles for Dominari. Nonsense has two. Uh, just a game has one. 
Fratres Advitamus 1, KS has 1, uh, Arcel has 1, Goons has 1 as well, Aggressor has 1 as well. So, you know, Opus Dei has 1 as well. So, we'll know the scores uh, or the points, the final uh, points at yeah. the start of the next session. Next session. But, yeah. you know, first War of Imperium session has ended. I think the guilds already managed to get the information that they need from the other guilds. Uh, they know what to expect expect from the other guilds but yep. you know i think the next session will be different because alliances might get formed um alliances might get torn mm. because of uh, what's happening so uh, we don't know we don't know what's going to happen we, we we will see in the next session yeah definitely and um i think i want, just want to commend everyone like including the small guilds for being um you know for for pushing as well uh, we do understand that uh, the numbers are low, but they still managed to cap uh, multiple guilds, uh, multiple imperiums. Sorry, multiple mm -hmm. imperiums. So I think um, if you, if you, if the players here um, can actually recruit few more players on their guilds, like mm -hmm. make two or three parties, I think they can face uh, last remnant PP or the, nonsense. The last night, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. so I think the winner here right now is uh, last night nice last nightmare. Uh, like what I've seen earlier, six castles for them. I might be wrong, or um, you know we'll know in the next before the next session starts. So yeah. six points for um, last nightmare, but uh, that's uh, uh, tentative because I don't know <laughs> the exact number. Yeah. Exact, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Yep. So you know, um, yeah. Like uh, what I've said earlier, information is key here in the first War of Imperium in uh, ROGGH. Yes, not only in capping, but also on uh, the same time for how how the opponents are playing or what's the lineup of the opponents. If you can mm -hmm. manage to uh, get information um, regarding the uh, the lineup, you can actually make a counter um, counter um, lineup for that one. So mm -hmm. it will be easy. On your guild to take down those, uh, for example, a dominary lineup for uh, for capping, right? Yeah. So I think it's a it's a good uh, session that they learn something out of um, out of the other guilds as well. Yes. So you know, strategies might change. Uh, of course, maximizing the points is going to be an important factor as well. But you know, first war of Imperium session has ended. Mg, we already voiced out our thoughts. Maybe. You know, the second session will be different. Maybe not. Um, I think it will be fairly different. Alliances might get formed. More people might come in. Because, you know, um, uh, we have events like the free reset stats and skills. 100% yep. EXP boost. We also have the level up box. So, it will help a lot of our players in leveling up. Uh, we have the popcorn event as well as the 100 days event still ongoing. Um, you know, we have a lot of events here in ROGGH and... Yeah, pretty, pretty hyped up, pretty, pretty yeah. excited on what's going to happen in the next session. Yes, definitely. They know what to farm. They know what to do, what builds to be executed. And um, I think more recruitments, more recruitments are going to be posted on, on, on Facebook, Facebook as well, or even in, in our Discord as well. So I'm expecting that, um, I mean, Dominari will be matched with... Um, guild next session mm -hmm. i think they're gonna try to match a uh, dominari when it comes to gbg and pushes yeah so maybe yeah. that's gonna be last remnant maybe that's gonna be a uh, nonsense or maybe that's gonna last be mh <laughs> yeah so who knows right who knows but again we're pretty excited for this one i'm very happy about the fights here in gth so yeah yeah we're very uh, so Right now, I know as uh, War of Imperium session has ended, we are going to read a few comments right now that you guys posted. Uh, it says here by John Patrick, it says here that uh, there's going to be a, a G GVG in Bifrost later on. So <laughs> we might see uh, Guild vs. Guild in leveling spots later on. Um, and, uh, you know, people are just uh, shouting out their favorite guilds here and there. Um, some players from... Um, other guilds, you know, shouting out mm -hmm. their own guild, uh, Money Heist, uh, Goons, uh,